Hi everyone. In this video, I will show how to calculate the current in a simple diode circuit using the constant voltage model. This is the method used most of the time and is pretty accurate. In a previous video, I showed how to calculate the current using the ideal diode. However, this method is not very accurate, especially when the applied voltage is small. A more accurate model is to assume the diode has a constant voltage when it is in forward bias. This is fairly accurate since the voltage in a real diode in forward bias does not change significantly with current. It is something between 0.5 and 0.7 volts, so if we assume it is a constant voltage Vf, we are not far away from the real diode. The value of Vf is usually taken as 0.6 volts or 0.7 volts, but it could be larger in high currents in power diodes, even close to 1 volt, 1 volt or more. The forward voltage in LEDs is much larger and ranges between 1.5 volts to 3.5 volts, depending on the material used and the color of LED. The ideal diode is a special case of this model where the forward voltage has been assumed as zero. The model consists of two segments. When the voltage is smaller than Vf, the current is zero. This has a good match with the real diode because its current is very small, except when the voltage is larger than cut-in voltage. The diode in this region can be modeled as an open circuit and the diode is set is off. It is off in reverse, but it is also off in forward bias when the voltage is less than Vf. When there is a current in the diode, which is in forward bias and is set diode is on, the voltage across the diode is equal to Vf, 0.6 or 0.7 volt, usually taken for normal diode. A constant voltage can be shown by a battery. Let's calculate the current in this circuit. The diode is in forward bias because the positive side of the battery uh, is connected to the anode and the negative side to the cathode. We can replace the diode with its equivalent circuit in forward bias, which is a battery with voltage Vf. We can write Vd, which is equal to Vf, and we assume that is 0.6 volts. It doesn't matter if we say 0.7. Now, if we write a KVL equation in this loop, the applied voltage V equals to forward voltage of the diode Vf plus the voltage across the resistance the resistor which is rid from here we can calculate id and if we put the numerical values we can find the current equal to 2.2 milliamps. When we use the constant voltage model, most of the time, nearly always, it is fairly accurate except at small currents close to the knee. However, the small difference between the model and the real diode is not significant if the applied voltage is large, much larger than Vf. The calculation when the diode is in reverse bias is simple. If you replace the diode with its equivalent circuit, which is an open circuit, the current is obviously zero. So we can write the diode current, which is always we assume from anode to cathode, and in this case in the opposite direction of I or minus I is equal to zero. The voltage across the diode is 
equal to applied voltage because uh, the current is zero and the voltage drop across the resistor would be zero. So the diode voltage will be equal to the applied voltage and for these numerical values uh, it's equal to minus 5 volts. Thanks for watching.